Ooh, look at all that stuff. I love Imperfect Foods. I'm gonna be sharing with you this week's and next week's in the same video. I love Imperfect Foods and every time I cancel, they send me really good coupons to get me back. I love the food and then the coupon on top of it, it's hard to ignore. Ooh. Take and bake baguettes, two of them, and I will be baking them fresh. So yummy. I am going to pop up the price before my coupon because I got $40 off this box. You can't count on that, so I'm gonna share with you the prices that you could expect, so. I'm so excited about these for our charcuterie board. Dipped banana bites, yum. I have snacking Gouda cheese. That just sounded good to me. Um, let's see here. There's six pieces, 70 calories each, and who doesn't love Gouda? Salami. Getting this box made me definitely want to do charcuterie. Gouda, yum. Cannot wait to eat that. I might eat that myself. Parmesan, my husband, and my middle daughter Elsie's favorite. Dark chocolate caramel sea salt. Those will all be on the charcuterie board. Um, these are among my absolute favorite things from Imperfect Foods, the petite pots. Not only do I love the little jars that come with them, but the pudding itself is so absolutely delicious. This pistachio pudding, so good. And I've never had the pumpkin, but I'm sure I will love that as well. These are the cutest, smallest little desserts. I absolutely love them. Some sharp cheddar. This will be on the charcuterie board. Love it. Ground beef. I don't have any plan for this, but because I had basically $40 off, I figured it made it a good value to stick in my freezer. I forgot I got Greek yogurt in my box and I got it at Aldi. So um, I have a lot of yogurt. A great protein dip maker. Another thing that I bought just to take advantage of the value of my $40 off, um, I got two things of butter. These are salted. We go through a lot of butter in our house and I'm actually making scones today and I'll be using some of this. So this is an example of something that they'd be selling because they made a mistake on the wrapper. Like, does that matter to me as I'm eating pickles? Absolutely not. But it's not perfect, so Imperfect Food sells it. And I get these dill pickles, um, the Sucker Punch brand. I'm very excited, and this will be a perfect addition to our charcuterie board. This is wrapped really well. I know what it is. It is olive oil. So... I bought some of this this week as well because I needed it before this arrived. Um, but it's actually kind of frozen. It was well wrapped and we we just need to keep extras on hand. So I thought it was a good way to get it. A giant carrot. I didn't remember ordering this, but I got it. So yum. I love carrots. I got limes um, just to make a drink with them. I have a plan and I like to have wedges of lime with Mexican dinners or with drinks. Three limes. And very last, a medley of tomatoes. I thought that'd be really pretty to put on the charcuterie board. Um, me and my daughters especially love to snack on tomatoes and look how pretty these are. Here's everything and again, I did have a $40 off coupon which gives me liberty to kind of try new things. I'm a little more likely to spend the money when I have um, half off essentially. My budget normally doesn't allow me to buy these pickles but the, the coupon made it nice. So I'm very excited about all this. You can see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items for oh, 10 for our charcuterie board this week, but we're gonna eat it far beyond charcuterie because we're not gonna eat three blocks of cheese and the Gouda, like we're gonna just have small pieces of this. So I get a lot of food for this money and I'm excited. And uh, now we'll move on to next week's Imperfect Foods haul. What did we get this week? You can't beat that new box smell. I love all of their puns. 
So a lot of this is to take on the road with us. But some of it, like maple butter, is just because I've wanted to try this. I've almost bought it Aldi multiple times, but I never have, and I'm very excited to try this. I'm taking this to Baltimore. Um, organic popcorn pumpkin spice. Elsie really like this, and I do too. These are just pantry additions because we like to have gnocchi and... With the sale, I needed to get to a certain amount, and I knew I could have these be shelf-stable. We like um, packaged gnocchi for easy dinners, so I got two of them. Another item that I really like from Imperfect Foods, and it's shelf-stable, is their unsalted natural peanut butter. Really, really good. It's very delicious. Love it. It'll just go in my pantry until we use it. I also got this uh, take and bake garlic bread. I actually was gonna have this for dinner tonight, but my delivery was much later than normal. So I'm just gonna stick this in the freezer. We will bake it another time. It looked really yummy to me, the garlic bread spread on it. Yummy. I also got these to take in the car for our car trip tomorrow, pepperoni, mozzarella, and crackers. I thought that'd be a really good snack um, when we get hungry, but it's not quite a meal time. So I got three of them, one for my husband, my daughter, and myself. This is for our trip, nutty toffee morsels. Elsie loves toffee. It's milk, cho milk chocolate covered with toffee chunks with almonds. It looked holiday, festive, and I knew Elsie would like it. I'm just gonna add this to my cheese drawer and we will appreciate it when I get back. Mexican style cheese, probably, most likely for quesadillas in the future. Um, I buy butter all the time, and since I had such a good coupon, it brought the price down for butter quite a bit, so I ended up buying three pounds of butter. I really couldn't buy a lot of produce since we're going to be gone for a while. I mean, not super long, but I didn't know when I'd get to it. I love buying chicken sausage from Imperfect Foods. This is roasted poblano pepper and cojita cheese. And each link has only 150 calories, so these will be really good when I do down days for intermittent fasting. I could eat one or two for um, 150 or 300 calories. They look really delicious, and I'm very excited to try these. This makes me almost want to throw up. I hate the thought of bone broth. But I've been asked to try it with my continuous glucose monitor, test what the effect of having this is after I've been fasting, if it um, increases my blood sugar. It's something I've been testing on my intermittent fasting channel. And even though it sounds so gross, I'm curious for the results. So I got bone broth, but I'm doing a gag face right now. <laughs> Um, again, I got celery. I plan to put this in the soup that I had for dinner tonight, but my box is delivered much later than normal. Usually it comes at like one or two in the afternoon and we got it later after we ate dinner. So celery will stay for quite a while in my produce drawer. I have no worries that we will end up eating it another time. I got chocolate covered everything. We all love this and I'm just going to put it in our snack bag to Baltimore. Whether we'll eat it or not, I don't know, but if not, it'll be fine at home sometime. And finally, Parmesan cheese. We eat a lot of Parmesan. It's one of my husband's favorite cheeses. My kids like it. It's good to grate, to make Alfredo. You can never go wrong while stocking up on Parmesan. It's one of my life mottos. So here's everything that I got from Imperfect Foods on my second haul. I am not sponsored nor affiliated with them, but I do really like to use them. And one thing that I found is that if you sign up and cancel, they end up sending you some good coupons to re-sign up. So that is what I've been doing. If you're interested in trying Imperfect Foods, I do have a referral code. Anyone, whether you're an influencer or not, can share referral codes with people in your life and earn money towards a future purchase. That's what I've done in the past but I do really enjoy receiving this stuff. And this is what I'm most excited to try. Yum. Bananas dipped in peanut butter. Like, does that not look amazing?